Have you been wondering what the percent composition of iron and sulfur would be in iron 3 sulfide? Well, you've come to the right place then, because that's what we're going to do. First, we're going to find the molar mass or the molecular mass, the total mass of the compound, basically, and then we're going to find those percentages. Watch how fast and easy this is. I've created a little table to help us out. Bam. So the first thing is we're going to write down the elements we see in the compound. So we have iron and we have sulfur. Next to then to write down the number of atoms, that's where the subscripts come into play. So we have two irons and we have three sulfurs. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. Those masses are found on the periodic table. So iron is 55.85 and sulfur is 32.07. So we're going to write them in. So this is 55.85 and this is 32.07. And then to find the total mass of that element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row one across, right? So for iron here, it's going to be a total of 111.70, all right? And, or 0.7, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, and then, in, well, it does in terms of sig figs, but whatever. And then uh, for sulfur here, <clears throat> it's going to be 96, 96.21. So then to find the total mass of the entire compound, which is what we're interested in here, it's going to be 207.91. And there you have it. There's the first step now of that particular process to finding the percent compositions, right? We had to find the total mass. Now all I'm going to do is add a column to the table and then calculate the percentages easy peasy from here. Bam. So to find the mass percent of iron, we're simply going to take the total mass of that iron, 111.7, and divide it by then the total mass of the entire compound, 207.91, and then multiply it by 100. This is a simple percent calculation part over whole times 100. So when we do that out, we get a percentage here roughly about 53, 53, point, I don't know, 73 or so percent. And then for sulfur, we're going to do the same thing. You could take this value and subtract it from 100 if you wanted, but I'd rather calculate it this way in case I made a mistake above, then your mistake would propagate into uh, this answer. So this is 207.91 times 100. And then that's going to work out to be 46.27 percent. And then as a simple check, you could simply add these two together and it should equal 100. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, um, I'm not really sure what that was a combination of, but if it, if it doesn't, uh, then you know, there might be an error somewhere. All right. That's all there is to it. Now you know how to solve the percent composition of both iron and sulfur in iron three sulfide. Thanks for watching. Take care.